I'm a little excited for this one. Oh my God, those are everything. This is a whole look. I look hot. I love it, it makes no sense. Hi Jazzy. Hey Megan. We're back. Yes, we have done red, we have done white, we have done patterns, and now it's time to try denim. A whole week of denim. Here are the rules. It's gotta be denim, head to toe with the exception of accessories like hats, shoes, and purses. And each day we'll have a different theme. We have streetwear, we have formal wear, we have grocery store look, date night look, and then we have a surprise look that we pick out for each other. Are you ready to go shopping? Let's do it. So I am planning on wearing my own jeans, finding jeans being my height, and being plus size is not always the easiest. I am going to be looking for some denim pieces that are dresses or shirts or jumpsuits on ASOS. Oh, okay, I see a romper. Okay, I'm gonna go to Pretty Little Thing. That's really cute. It is hugging this girl all in the right places. I might be into this. There was way too much fast fashion in the previous Making It Monochrome episodes, so let's go to Depop. I found the perfect denim shirt and it's short sleeved. I really like the cut. I really like the wash. It has a little pocket. I'm gonna buy it. No sleeves, but a hood. It's so hideous. I love it. I'm kind of excited about this. I think this might go well. Today is my street style day. I'm a little excited for this one. I don't hate it. I wish this corset was tighter. I put on my little shades, I put on my earrings, I put on my bandana. I have on my favorite jeans, so yep, I look okay. It's streetwear day. The day that I dread the most because it is the most far from the way that I would dress myself normally. I'm liking this outfit way more than I should. I feel like I would fit right in at Home Depot. I'm just a girl looking to build some stuff, you know? I kept the makeup really simple with a super sharp cat eye and a nude lip. These are jeans that I already owned and Timberlands that I already owned. I was dreading this outfit because I was expecting to feel immensely restricted because denim is typically very unforgiving, but instead I feel very freed. The world is my oyster in this outfit. All right, I'm about to do something I've never done in one of these videos, go outside. Hello, and welcome to my dress up day. Woo! I'm wearing this jumpsuit. This is a whole look. I absolutely love it. The denim is stretchy. This is definitely something that I would wear to a fancier occasion and kind of like set things off and be a little bit different. I'm truly happy with it. Welcome to Fancy Day. I'm in love with my dress. I'm very excited to go do some fancy makeup and like have a fancy day alone in my apartment. I am so pleased. This dress makes me feel so sexy and I wanted the makeup to match so I did this smoky yet silver shiny eye. Instead of doing like some dangly earrings I did this single chain. For shoes I went with these chunky black platform heels and for purses you could have like a million options but I just grabbed this little red clutch for a fun little pop of color. I also put on like every ring that I own because I think it looks cool. I look hot! My bare, broad shoulders are out and I will not apologize for it. I could not tell you why, but something about this outfit makes me want to do something weird with my pictures involving Photoshop. Me and Kate are gonna go run some errands and we are actually going to the grocery store. So this look is very fitting, but first I need to get this hair under control. <laughs> I'm in the denim rompa and it is mostly comfortable. I like how it fits. I like that there's a tie in the back. I think that's cute. But yeah, it does have pockets though. Definite plus. It's grocery store day, so we're going to the grocery store. I hate it. 
hate it. I hate my makeup and I hate my outfit. The denim shirt with the denim overalls. It's not a good look. Other than like the denim on denim, it's a very me outfit. This shirt is from Depop and I've owned these overalls for quite a while. The shoes are Air Force Ones and I'm carrying around my backpack that I use every day. I definitely woke up and chose violence with this orangey, reddish, yellow eyeshadow. And the freckles really just made everything adorable and just brightened up my day. Generally, this typically is something that I would wear to the grocery store, which is perfect, because I need to go to the grocery store. And I'm gonna take you guys along in my little pocket. You don't put your coat back, you're a coward. Today is gonna be like more of a low key date vibe for me. So today I think I'm gonna wear my black denim outfit, which is an oversized denim shirt. I'm gonna wear my own black denim jeans, which I absolutely love. Depending on the vibe, I could go a little bit like sexy vibe and just wear a bra underneath it. Or I might wear a turtleneck. We're probably gonna go with the bra. I like this outfit. It's a chill vibe. It's something that I would definitely wear on a date with Kate. I was gonna put up my lime green backdrop to take photos, but I think I'm gonna put up white and do some like cute, like Calvin Kleiny ads. I'm making a point to not be so like in dresses and skirts. I'm kind of into this outfit. It's one of my favorite outfits that I have. It's date day and I'm gonna look cute. I'm gonna take myself to get my favorite coffee and I'm gonna go sit in my favorite park and just have a nice time. I think I'm learning that I'm obsessed with black denim on me. I borrowed the shirt from Mallory. The shoes are old from Steve Madden, very middle school me. These pants hit me at the smallest part of my waist. It's all delicious. My makeup is super simple. I did this very in glittery inner corner. I feel like my mom when I say, oh, it's very in. And unlike the other Making It Monochrome episodes, I'm gonna go take myself on a date. It's surprise day. The only thing Jazz has told me about this is she said, it's a vibe. So I just opened the box. There's a lot of different vibes going on. We have an oversized denim shirt dress. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was not expecting long sleeves and a collar. We got some black denim shorts. I wonder what made her pick this out for me. Probably because it's like perfectly out of my comfort zone. And then this oversized jacket dress. I didn't know I was incomplete until this moment. Ring, ring. Hello. Oh, it's the future calling. And I look good. This outfit is everything. All of the reasons I love this dress are all of the reasons I never would have chosen it for myself. Belts normally hit me in a weird place, but this one doesn't. This kind of smocky collared neck that covers up everything up top, I don't normally like on myself, and it's something that I really love about this dress. I kept my eyes and lips browny, neutral, to match the camel color of the platform shoes. These sunglasses are very jasmine to me, like I'm channeling her opulence while wearing them. I nailed this look. This is one of my favorite looks. I know I'm trying to be Megan today, but it is also my vibe. Megan gave me this dope oversized pink shirt dress. It was really, really cute. I went pretty chill on everything else. I know Megan does like to do her makeup, but that was not me today. I really love this look. <laughs> this was a perfect way to end the video for me. This was great. Jazz obviously smashed it out of the park with this outfit, and I need to do it justice in my pictures. Yeah. 
I'm back because I sent Megan a photo and Megan was like, you're not wearing monochrome denim. And I was like, oh, it's not the same color. I didn't follow the rules on making it monochrome, but I felt good. So can we ask for anything more? Yeah, you could ask for me to follow the rules. <laughs> This week went really great. Denim is actually so versatile. Comes in a million shapes and colors. I did try some pieces that would be sus for plus women. The romper was really cute. The jumpsuit was cute. I'm overall pretty satisfied. Let us know in the comments what you want me and Jazz to make monochrome next.